Just recently, we were blessed with a new Johnny Test reboot on the show's official YouTube channel. It was meant to be a fun 5 minute short that takes all of the characters we know and places them in a completely original story. Some people loved it, some people hated it, but at the end of the day, we can all come to one conclusion. This was Johnny Test. With its whip cracks and corny jokes, that was what everyone signed up for, and the internet loved making fun of it. But something strange happened just days after it was first uploaded to the world. If we head on over to Wildbrain's YouTube channel where the web series reboot was, it's just gone. This is a sad day. The entire channel's page is empty, aside from this one full-length episode for some reason. There were two other videos related to promoting the web series, but both of those are gone too. By going to episode 1's link, we can find out that the videos were privated and not deleted, but that's still worth questioning. Not only that, but the YouTube channel has rebranded itself from before. This is the previous cover art, which takes on the style of the Lost web series, meant to get more viewers excited about Johnny's latest adventures. Fast forward to right now, and this is what we have, just a general style stock image of the show. The same could also be said for Johnny Test's Facebook page. While they had previously promoted his reboot and even shared a link to it, all of that is taken down and the profile pic was changed. What's weird is that there were even more than a few other shorts in the series planned. There are supposed to be 15 separate stories for Johnny's web series adventures. From all of this, it's clear that for some reason, Wild Brain is moving on. They don't want others to see the lost web series anymore, at least for right now. But what's really happening behind the scenes and why would they decide to do this? I can't say I have an official answer, but one of the possibilities could be that the team is heading back to the lab, pun very much intended. What I mean is that maybe they saw the crazy amount of negative fan feedback, including the massive amount of dislikes, and they could try to make things better. While watching the League of Johnnies, you'll notice that not everything is nearly as polished as it could be. Combine that with the fact that new voice actors took the stage for these characters, and it was really hard for longtime fans to have a good time watching. While going back to change some things would be no easy feat, maybe they're putting time into it for the sake of Johnny Test. This dude's legacy matters to them, especially with yet another reboot on the way. If everyone online associates these bad webisodes with the actual upcoming season, then less people are gonna watch. Another possibility Wild Brain privated the episode is because they don't want it uploaded on YouTube anymore. I'm not sure why they would do this, especially with the monopoly that the platform has compared to other video sites, but hey, this is Wild Brain, so anything could happen. Maybe they decided the web series wasn't good enough to have its own channel on YouTube. The sad part about taking down the Lost Web Series is that now, we can't get to watch Bling Bling Boy shine his way into a new episode. You already know he was planned to come back at some point in time, but if we really don't get to see the series continue, then it's not happening anymore. One of the funniest things about all this is that now, Johnny Tests the Lost Web Series could actually be considered lost media. At least, that would be the case if a bunch of people hadn't already downloaded it before it got privated. But still, everything relating to this has been completely wiped from the channel, and we really have to think about what comes next. The legend came back, got the internet talking, and then dipped like nothing ever happened in the first place. We're gonna have to keep waiting for any official answer from Wildbrain, or hey, maybe the episodes will go back up without an explanation. I just I just really want to see more Johnny Test, not because it's a great cartoon, but because it has such a unique flavor. This is the perfect kind of show to talk about online because the memes! I can't live without Johnny Test memes. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos, give a thumbs up, and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time!